Hi, my name is Max and this is the LaTeX Beginners course. With the previous videos, we can handle pretty much all requirements one could have for a regular academic text, including some really fancy stuff. But, and this is important if you're writing on an academic thesis, uh, we haven't talked about citing yet. And citing is a thing that can easily get out of hand, especially if you're writing on a large thesis or so. Um, so good news is that there are programs out there that can help you manage your sources. And even better news for us is that most of them work pretty well together with LaTeX. So that's the subject of this video. We want to show you how to properly cite with LaTeX. Now, the first thing is that in order to cite with LaTeX, we need a .bib file. These .bib files are very common. We can download them from any publisher's homepage, for example, or just simply from Google Scholar. But we need one .bib file containing all our sources. So what we need is a program that helps us managing these .bib files. And the program I recommend to you is Jabref, I use it myself, and it's free. And I'll put a link for the download in the description below. After we open Jabref, this is what we see. And the first step is to create a new BibTeX database. Now it's empty, but we can add new BibTeX entries. Um, and then we have different options for different types of literatures, uh, I think in most cases Articles and books will be the most important ones, but there are also other options. Let's start with the book. And then we have two options how to create a BibTeX entry. First one is that we know the exact properties of the book we want to cite. So let's say uh, we do. Let's say the title is Hail Mary, Publishers NFL, year is 2015, author is Aaron Rodgers. Editor is not important or we don't know it. Um, but then the BibTeX key, this is very important because with the BibTeX key we can later cite this book in a LaTeX file. So we have to remember it and a thing I like to do is just put the name of the author and the year together. So in this case Rogers 2015. So we have to remember this. Then we have here optional fields, uh, which in this case I think are not important. Uh, and then also here this field with a BibTeX source. So this is what Jabref uh, created while we typed in here information. And now this is what our BibTeX, what our Bib file looks like. For the second option, I want to go to Google Scholar and then just search for a random paper, maybe something about football. Yeah. Um, then here we have uh, a paper by Robert Cialdini, it's about the psychological effects of football. Um, well, we uh, can now go to the homepage of the publisher and then we see that we can't uh, download it because we have to purchase it, it's very, very expensive. Uh, but in order to cite it, we don't have to download it, we don't have to uh, spend money. We can just click here on site and then we have different options, uh, just here the BibTeX, click just here on BibTeX. And then we get the BibTeX source. So let's just copy this uh, and then go uh, back to Jabref, uh, create a new BibTeX entry. Uh, this time an article, because it is an article. And then mm, we don't want to fill, fill, fill this field. We have now the BibTeX source. We can include it. Uh, here we are. And now these fields are filled in automatically. The only thing we have to change is here the BibTeX key because uh, yeah, we want something that we can remember. Uh, and here, Cialdini 1976, uh, I think this is perfect. So now we have two entries in our BibTeX database. First one is an article about Cialdini, Cialdini 1976, and a book, Aaron Rodgers, Rodgers 2015. So two, uh, two entries is of course uh, not much, but you can add as much as you want to. And for our purposes, this will be enough. So we have to save this BibTeX database. In order to do that, go here, save database, and then save it straight uh, in our LaTeX folder and in, in the folder where our document is. Give it a name, maybe bibliography. And then, and this is important, select file type .bib. Good, we can save this and then we're done with Jabref. Now we have created a bib file, bibliography.bib. So let's head on to LaTeX again. So what most people do and what you will see in most tutorials is how to use BibTeX. 
But I want to show you how to use BibLaTeX because BibLaTeX is the successor of BibTeX. It's an updated version, it contains more options, it's simply better than BibTeX. But unfortunately it's not that widely recognized and it's a bit different than BibTeX. Um, but that's no problem, let's get started. We're starting like we always do with including a new package. In this case it's the BibLaTeX package. And then we have to establish a connection between a bib file and the LaTeX file. And this is done with the command add bib resource. And then the name of a bib resource, which is of course bibliography dot bib. This is very important, otherwise it wouldn't work. Uh, then go to the end of a document. And here we have to insert an, uh, another command uh, here, print bibliography. And this command does exactly what its name says. It includes a list of all used literature. Then, again, very important, uh, go to options and configure text maker. And here in the field bibtech, biblatech, you have to insert bieber space percent sign. Um, otherwise it wouldn't work. So um, no matter what's there right now, change it to bieber space percent sign. And then you're fine. Now we're finally ready to start citing with LaTeX. So let's go to the section I created um, and then the command for citing is backslash cite. Real easy. And then uh, a bibtech key. So here let's use Cialdini 1976. And here um, maybe Rogers 2015. So when we compile now, uh, just a quick build, then we see that well, we don't get an error message, but uh, it doesn't work. We have here just displayed our bibtech key and we have no bibliography. Uh, the solution is to go uh, here and not select quick build, but bibtech. So we have to compile with bibtech. So let's see what happens. Yeah, the compilation with bibtech was successful. Uh, and now we can try the quick build again. And now it should work. And yeah, here we are. We have one and two, and here reference one, Cialdini, reference two, Aaron Rodgers. Wonderful. Now that we got the LaTeX working, we can explore the different possibilities LaTeX gives us when citing. Um, so, for example, we can not only reference the publication, we can also uh, let LaTeX display the name of the author and the year of the publication. So, for example, uh, let's use the Cialdini paper here. Um, we can say as, and then the command for citing the author is backslash cite author. Uh, and then in the braces again, the bibtech key, and uh, then suggested in, and then the year, cite year, uh, and again the bibtech key, comma, dot, 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 and compile. And what this gives us, yeah, here we are, as Cialdini had all suggested in 1976, dot, dot, dot. So you might call this unnecessary because you can just write it down by yourself. But just imagine you have 20 sources or more and you can't remember all the names of the authors and the years. So letting LaTeX do things automatically for you is a great solution, I think, in any cases. Another citing method is with footnotes. The command for this is just backslash foot site. And then let's select the Rogers paper here. Uh, and now we have a footnote uh, containing a citation, but we also can add uh, in square brackets here a comment. So let's say random comment and then compile. And what do we get? Yeah, here we have a footnote which leads to here a footnote, a random comment, and then a citation. Wonderful. The last thing I want to show you today is how to cite multiple sources in one command. Uh, and for this, um, there is the command paren cites. And here, two pairs of braces. Um, the first pair, Cialdini paper. Second pair, the Rogers paper. Rogers 2015. And then a dot and we can compile. And what you get is here, one and two. This was a short introduction to BibliTech. Let's look at what we did today. 
Um, we established Bibliotech with two sources. Of course, you can add as much as you want with no extra effort. Uh, and then we have our basic citation um, here. It's uh, in, a, in a square bracket and also linked with a hyperlink to, uh, to the bibliography. Uh, and then we can cite uh, with footnotes and we can also cite multiple papers in one bracket. I think this looks really good, um, but there's more to Bibliotech. You can customize nearly anything, the citation style, the uh, bibliography, you can customize it all. And we plan to do more videos on this in the future. But I think this is enough for this basics course. The next video will be the last one in this course. We're going to talk about different document classes, the options you have with them, and also basic document formatting. So I hope to see you in the next video. Um, until then, thanks for watching.